Yes, guys. Yes, people. Welcome back to my personal channel. Welcome to another video. We, I don't do this as much as I should do, but we are here again for the latest transfer updates. Here to talk about Mateo Kovacic and a potential exit from him from Chelsea in the summer. This news has only just come out a few minutes ago, but like when you see this, it should be in a couple hours because I'm dropping this after the AC Milan v Inter game. So yeah, you guys have seen this news for a few hours now. Mateo Kovacic, as we all already know, is likely to leave Chelsea. And from Jacob Steinberg, he has said that Chelsea have accepted that they are likely to lose Mateo Kovacic this summer amid interest in the midfielder from Bayern Munich, Man City and Man United. I'm surprised Liverpool's name also isn't in there because I've seen their name linked with Kovacic before. But I'm not surprised to hear that Mateo Kovacic might be leaving. By the way, before I start, as always, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, hit the bell notification button as well. Um, let me know all your thoughts or if you agree or disagree with anything I'm saying down in the description below. And yeah, let me know as well if you want to see more videos like this, because I've been feeling to do this sort of content where I discuss topics on streams and then I do like shorter versions on video for you guys, because I get some people don't want to watch a two hour stream of just straight waffling. So if you guys prefer this, or if you want to see both, let me know in the comment section. But on to Mateo Kovacic. I'm not fussed, really not that fussed. And I don't think a lot of people should be with him leaving like this is a very similar situation to mason mount where the player's got one year left on his contract they can't agree on terms or in mateo kovacic's um situation they haven't even started talking about terms and he's not been good this season i keep the same thing with with mason mount i like to try and keep the same energy with all players he is in the same position with mount where he hasn't played in a way to justify his contract. He's been terrible all season. Let's call it what it is. He's not been good this season for us. This has probably been his worst season in a Chelsea shirt. The one year where he has to re-sign. He's always injured. Always has a big recovery period when he comes back from injuries as well. That There's not really any reason to keep him, especially when we're trying to do a squad rebuild. I would ideally have him go abroad, maybe to Spain, maybe with Tuchel to Bayern Munich, seeing as Bayern does have interest, maybe back to Italy. Maybe he goes back to Italy as well. But if he was to go to an English club, I, I wouldn't necessarily be that fussed because, I mean, Kovas had good periods for us, but other than 1920, I don't know when he's consistently wowed us. Like, he was decent in 1819, but just never pass forward to save his life. Everyone who criticised Jorginho for passing sideways, fucking hell, Kovacic. Um, 1920 was unbelievable. 20, um, no, no, 2021, when we won the Champions League, he was decent, had good periods, but could never really break into the squad. And he wasn't a good pivot with N'Golo Kante at the time. The pair of them would just turn over possession for fun. 21-22, I thought was a better season for him. Um, this season, though, shower of crap genuinely he's been at, he's been atrocious for us this season indefensible at times and if this is the season where you're playing for a contract see ya my friend thank you for all the memories and all of that i'm not fussed if he goes to man city he he will fit very well into guardiola's system but it wouldn't be any different to putting anyone else in there who guardiola would want at the time because guardiola is just different as a coach like that i could easily see him as the good hand replacement though man united i feel like yeah i actually feel like he'd do pretty well there to be honest and i rather he didn't go to manchester united or to liverpool city i don't care city are like levels clear of everybody else in the league bigger fish to fry than fucking Chelsea and all of that. So it is what it is. But ideally, he would move abroad. Um, I don't think that, he, that he's going to re-sign. The fact that they haven't even started contract talks and we are in May is very indicative of what's going to happen with Mateo Kovacic in the summer. And it is what it is. Thank you for winning player of the season in 1920. He's been a very good servant for us. He's had very good memories in the Chelsea shirt and all of that. But... It is what it is. And yeah, he just 
isn't it for us. He just isn't it for us. Um, let me know your thoughts on Mateo Kovacic down in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. There's a few other topics I wanted to get into as well. I saw that from The Athletic, they said aside from sporting reasons, there's always been a financial incentive for Chelsea to leave out Aubameyang, given that he has a high bonus appearance fee written into his contract, and they have little to, not to gain with him not being in the squad next season. And a lot of people have been like, oh, so this is why he hasn't been playing. This is why Kai started all games and everything. I don't know why it's a good thing. I don't know why people are acting like this is a good reason. Because it's not. It's a terrible reason. We have had what is statistically the worst attack in Chelsea's night past 99 years. And meanwhile, our most experienced striker has been left to rot on the bench simply because we don't want to pay him per appearance. A clause that we inserted into the contract ourselves. We have spent six Hundred million all to not play a player because we don't want to pay him per appearance. Why why did we bring him on against Spurs with five minutes left? Why did we bring him on against Brentford? Why did we bring him on against Wolves with 30 minutes left? Why did we start him against Arsenal? Someone figure that one out to me. Because I don't understand that at all. That makes no sense to me at all. It's straight clueless, delusional, stupid. Everything you want, every bad adjective you want to add. Because I, I don't understand it. Yes, I know people are going to be like, oh, why are you rising up for a Bamiyang like this? Oh, he's fucking shit. He's never done anything to prove he should be starting in the minutes that we've given him. I'm sorry, a guy that you've given three appearances to since January isn't looking sharp. The fact is, if a Bamiyang had the minutes that we have given Kai Havertz this season, that overrated bum, he would be our top goal scorer right now. And he wouldn't have to stat pad penalties to get to that position. We are 11th. With the third or fourth best attack in the... Best attack, are you crazy? Third or fourth best defence in the league. And we have refused to play a Bamiyang with the 16th best attack in the league. The fourth worst. No one, no one can try and tell me that that is a good decision. That is a disgrace. That is a disgrace. That's one of the worst decisions I have seen from Todd Bowley and from the board since signing on. Not as bad as sacking Tuchel or bringing in Graham Potter, but it's third. It's third. Because how are, are you telling Potter that that's the thing? This wasn't even Potter benching a Bamiyang now. This was Bowley. This was Bowley. This was Bowley in the board. Saying, we don't want you to play him because we don't want to be paying him per appearance. And that has held us back. And that's why we are nowhere near even competing for a European spot right now. Why do we complain about our attack every week? Why do we say that these, attack that these attackers couldn't hit water from a boat in the Pacific Ocean? Because we don't play experienced finishers. Our most experienced finisher was left to rot on the fucking bench all season. This is stupid. And then even dumber is the fact you don't even bother to play for Fana. If that's the case with Aubameyang, play for Fana. Give him some fucking minutes. We don't do that. Every day, Kai up top. Every day. For what? No reason at all. That, that spun me. That pissed me off differently. Differently. But yeah, that rant out of the way. There was one other topic. Newcastle are interested in Conor Gallagher. Remains on their most wanted list. Mason Mount was also discussed. Chelsea have a, have a bloated squad, which includes a bunch of players that Newcastle admire, which I think it also includes Christian Pulisic, seeing as he was linked to Chelsea um, with Newcastle as well. Mount won't join because, again, his stupid contract requirements. Newcastle's highest paid players are Bruno Gimash and Alexander Isak on 120k a week. Meanwhile, we have Mount trying to push for over 170 holding the club to ransom while this fan base rims him off every single day. Conor Gallagher, if they go in for him, 
I could see Chelsea accepting because we do need to sell Cobham graduates for straight profit for FFP. I think 40 to 50 million should do it because they spent 40 million on Anthony Gordon. They can spend that on Conor Gallagher too. Mason Mount will probably go to Liverpool or to Manchester United. And whatever happens with him is whatever happens. I think Mason Mount is as good as gone for Chelsea. We are in May. They still haven't agreed any terms. Money is still a big issue for Money Mace. And yeah, it is what it is on that front. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know if you agree or disagree with anything I've said. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel as always. And big up. Up the Chelsea.